its back contain poisonous spines. These spines protect it in the event of an attack. It also uses its fins to direct its prey in the direction it wishes, pulling the prey into its mouth once it is trapped. The lion's fish attractive appearance attracts its prey and allows it to be caught. Living things survive thanks to their bodies being created to be compatible with the atmospheric pressure around them. We do not realize it, but the air around us creates a pressure of one kilogram on every square centimeter of our skin. Our bodies, however, and those of all other living things, have been created to be compatible with that pressure. The oceans consist of a substance even heavier than air, water. Let us now take a dive to see the effects of depth on sea life. As you dive down, the pressure doubles every 10 meters. This pressure is the weight of the water above you. Yet there are living things which are perfectly capable of living in such environments. These are the sea creatures who are created to be compatible with this pressure. Significant sunlight can only penetrate 100 meters down into the ocean freely. Creatures capable of making photosynthesis by using the sun's rays are found at these depths. The coral reefs are just such an area teeming with life. Photosynthesis becomes impossible past 150 meters down. You will encounter no plants there. You will, however, encounter creatures which feed on the wastes from creatures living on the surface, such as sponges. Despite resembling plants, these are actually an organized animal colony. As one dives down to 300 meters, one encounters a constant incline. This is known as the continental shelf. This extends as far as 250 kilometers from the shore. When you follow it, you end up at a depth of 4 kilometers. At such depths, the water temperature falls to below 4 degrees. The water pressure reaches up to 400 times that of the surface. No light reaches these depths from the surface. It is pitch black. At first sight, the appearance is one of a lifeless desert. Yet if you look patiently around, interesting creatures begin to appear. Life continues even at this high pressure. The life systems of these interesting fish have been designed to withstand such enormous pressure. You will be encountering the fish you are about to see for the first time. These are legendary fish which have never appeared on the surface. This is a dragonfish. It is one meter long. The pits of its jaw possess a special sensory tissue. 
thanks to which it can identify the movements of its prey and catch it in the darkness. Thanks to these extraordinary eyes, it can easily identify the location of luminous fish. And the dragonfish continues to live quietly, kilometers down under the surface of the sea. This is a grenadier fish. It is about 50 centimeters long. It travels long distances on the seabed. Its aim is to collect dead fish or waste products sinking down from the surface. In this way, it not only meets its own food needs, but also keeps the ocean floor clean. Sensor pits in its cheeks identify the source of vibrations in the water, and with its large eye it follows dead fish sinking down to the bottom. The Almighty God has created the grenadier fish to live at depths of 3,000 meters. Instead of roaming the ocean floor, the tripod fish prefers to wait in one spot. The pectoral fins of the fish have long tips, and its tail fin extends downwards. This gives it a special appearance, as if it were standing on three legs. It spends hours in this position on the seabed, waiting for something to eat to pass by. The tripod fish's tiny eyes are almost completely blind. Behind its head are two long antennae, or feelers. It thus perceives the slightest movement in the water in a most sensitive manner. The design of the tripod is the work of an intelligence. The Almighty God has shaped this creature in accordance with its needs. Here is another surprise in the depths of the ocean. The flying octopus Dumbo. It was given the name Dumbo because the fins on either side of its head resemble elephant ears. It floats through the deep like a flying elephant. Yet, it is no bigger than a basketball. Thanks to the webbed structure between its tentacles, it soars almost effortlessly through the water. Excellent sight is essential in these dark waters in order to find food and avoid falling prey to others. This vital problem has been resolved in some creatures by means of a tactic of invisibility. This is the hatchet fish. It lives at depths of 1,000 meters and is 10 centimeters long. Its large eyes are located so as to look upwards. That is because at these depths, fish tend to hunt other fish passing above them. At the same time, of course, they also have to be invisible. Indeed, their bodies have been created to do just that. Their bodies are flat, and their silver color allows them to camouflage their bodies in the darkness. At this point, a fish looking down could easily make the hatchet fish out. That is because at this depth, many fish, thanks to their large eyes, can identify their prey by the light filtering down from the surface. However, the flawless camouflage system of the hatchet fish protects it from that danger. The hatchet fish possesses an astonishing deceptive mechanism against the danger from a pair of eyes looking up from below special cells which produce light and are known as photophores have been placed in its stomach. This light is a biological one. In other words, bioluminescence. This light is produced by a chemical reaction which is initiated by the interaction of two different chemicals. Cells in the stomach of the hatchetfish imitate the color of the light filtering down from the surface. 
and give off light of exactly the same color. This clever camouflage helps to make these fish invisible.